Are we good? Are we ready? Okay. Hello everyone, my name is Hannah Porter and I am one of the band directors here at Howard Lake Waverly Winstead. I get the pleasure of working with the jazz bands here at the high school. Um, we rehearse Tuesday and Thursday morning, so all of these wonderful children show up before school to play, and that's awesome. And sometimes we're all really tired, but that's okay. So our first song is Easy Pickens, and it features a number of different people in the jazz band. And jazz band's a little bit different than concert band. When somebody gets done with a solo, you get to clap. So I will make sure to point them out when it's your turn to clap. So here is Easy Pickens. featured Chance on the trumpet and Courtney on the trombone. This last one we're going to play before the next group comes out is called Southside Shuffle. This also features Courtney and we also have Riley on trumpet and we have 
Shane on trumpet. And then I forgot to put it in there, but Jack has a little thing. So we'll give him an extra big round of applause because I forgot to put him in the program. So here's Southside Shuffle. Hello, welcome to our fall concert. I'm Stephanie Daly, I am one of the band directors here. Um, our next two groups that are gonna perform for you tonight are small groups that we have that meet outside of the regular school day. 
Uh, this first group that you're going to see is our Woodwind Ensemble. If you've been coming to our concerts for a while, in the past we've had a flute ensemble and a clarinet ensemble, and this year uh, we're a little low on flutes in our concert band, so we uh, put them together and included our oboes as well to make an, uh, a woodwind ensemble. And then we also have a brass quintet, and you'll meet them next. Uh, this woodwind ensemble practices, sorry, practices on Thursday mornings every week. Uh, so they come early to school once a week for this, and they have been super fun to work with so far, and we're really excited to get going on holiday music after this concert. So you'll see them again in our concert in about a month. So the Woodwind Ensemble has one piece for you tonight. It has three little movements, three American folk songs. While they get situated, um, we have, this is a new group this year that we have. It's our brass quintet. A brass quintet consists of two trumpets, a French horn, a trombone, and a tuba. And we happen to have really strong players of all those instruments uh, in the same grade. They're all juniors. So I was really excited to put this group together because I have two years with them. So that's going to be super fun. Uh, they're already doing a great job and learning a lot. One thing that is different about the small ensemble music compared with like concert band, especially as a brass quintet, 
Um, you'll see when concert band comes up, we have 14 trumpets in concert band. Um, here we have two trumpets and they each have their own part. So all five of these individuals are playing their very own parts. So it's like a lot of soloists playing together and it requires a little bit higher level of musicianship and they're just doing such a great job. So they have the Battle of Jericho for you.
Some of them just got their first performance as a high schooler out of the way, so I think now the nerves will settle a little bit, maybe. Um, so welcome again to the concert. The piece that we just played had When Johnny Comes Marching Home and Shenandoah in it, so you might have recognized those. We will also be playing that piece next Thursday for our Veterans Day program. So if you're coming to that, you'll get to hear it again. Our next piece that we are going to play is a march by Eric Osterling called Bandology. going to play is our kind of our big one of this concert you'll notice it's a little bit longer uh, than the first couple that you heard and I just want to read you some of the program notes that were in this music for us uh, it's called to seek the glorious by Paul Murtha and it says the opening section portray portrays the sunrise the beginning of a new day full of wonder and promise it builds gradually until the full rays of the Sun explode into a beautiful glorious display of creation 
The second section represents curiosity with the world and everything in it, the curiosity of youth. This section builds, then morphs into the opening sunrise material, which is followed by a transition led by a short flute solo played by Ashley Lamphere that is based on the melody of the hymn on Eagle's Wings. The transition leads into a ballad section that features a trumpet solo played by Chance Greeter. The next section is The Glorious, led by a brass and percussion fanfare in mixed meter. The finale of the piece is based on the hymn Sleepers Awake by John Johann Sebastian Bach. We hope you enjoy To Seek the Glorious.
have one song left for you tonight. Um, but that last one that you heard, Folk Song Celebration featured Celebration March, the Skyboat song, and Tarantella Napolitana. I practiced saying that before the concert, and clearly I forgot how to say it. Uh, but I tried. Um, before we play our last song, we just want to thank you all for coming tonight. It's so fun to play in front of a live audience and not have to worry about how many people are here and things like that. And sitting, we haven't played a concert sitting like this for almost two years, over a year and a half. So this has been a real joy um, for me tonight and for them too, and we're just so glad you're here. Um, thank you to Rick and Wyatt in the crew for the sound and lights and all their help. Can we give them a round of applause, please? Um, also, thank you to our administrators, our custodial staff, my fellow members of the music department. Um, thank you, students for being a joy to work with every day. Almost every day. Every day. Um, our last piece that we have for you tonight is Skybound. Um, and Skybound was inspired by a poem by the ancient Persian poet Rumi that says, love calls everywhere and always. We are skybound, are you coming? This poem repeatedly reminded the composer, Todd Stelter, of a former student of his who had tragically passed away early in his life. As a tribute, the student's initials were used as the basis for the melodic material in this piece. The imagery of ascension is evident in the rising musical motives and the energy and drive of the music with its concluding affirmation of hope are reflective of the life of the person to whom the work is dedicated. We hope you enjoy Skybound. Thank you so much for coming tonight.